I'm pouring the monolithical slab for the silo with the grain bin behind me. I've already done the ICF block form, the perfect radius. Now I gotta figure out how to extend the radius up another four inches with the removable side so I can, I can finish the side of the concrete. I'm not using a chalk box because I can't, I know that this piece of siding is not perfectly straight. It probably crowns up or down, I'm not sure. I'm not even gonna chance it, so I'm using this. And this is how I'm gonna install this by myself. I'm trying to wrap a 16, uh, 16 foot long board around a radius. So I'm going up to four inches. about every two feet. I'm gonna drive a nail. These are my extra hands. those nails are for. Those nails that I pounded through will act as a shelf to sit on the perimeter of this form. I just finished forming up the monolithic pour for the silo behind me. My concrete contractor contacted me this morning and gave me some good news that he was coming up in the morning to pour this. I'm super excited. If, if you look at it, there's no rebar. And there's a very good reason I'm not using rebar. It's because I don't have the time to use rebar. I don't have time to try to weave number four bar on a radius inside of ICF blocks. I don't even know if I would have the patience to try to finagle that. So I found a different product that I'm using that takes the place of rebar. It's more expensive than rebar, but it is going to save me a day's worth of labor. It's called Helix. I'm going to also put that in the box below. I'll, I'll give you a link to go to their website and research what it is. But it's little metal, metal coils. I actually haven't seen them. I'll pull one out tomorrow when we pour and rinse it off and show you what it looks like. But this helix, the way it works is you take your rebar mat that you have engineered for the, the pour you're doing, foundations, footings, flat work, everything. You take your rebar grid and you calculate a dosage. They sell it by the uh, pound. Mm -hmm. 